Right, I'm in Newtown today and I've come to see this very, very odd sculpture. And, uh, well, it costs between 30 and 50,000 pounds. And I thought, wow, I've got to see this. And the nickname for it is called the Toilet Roll. <laughs> and as I get a bit closer now, you can see what I mean. So, let's have a look at this thing. And what, what's a bit weird, uh, Newtown Powers Wells, by the way, I'm at, and, uh, and what's weird is that uh, they've just stuck it on a football field. I mean, look, there's goalposts over there, goalposts over there, and, and, and this thing costs 30 grand. I mean, I'm not joking, mate. I mean, £30,000 to stick it on a football field. I mean, it says 1771 to 1858. But, I mean, he's like some famous person that was born here and died here. And uh, the town seems to like his name. And they've got statues after him and all sorts. So I thought I'd just come and have a look at this so-called toilet roll. <laughs> And it's sort of the laughing stock of the town, really. And I thought, I've just got to come and have a look at it. I mean, crazy. I mean, £30,000 or so, 50 top end, I suppose, by the time he designed it and, and glued it together. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's a bit shoddy on the back of there. I mean, hey, somebody's trying to hide the bits around the back of there. But yeah, but I mean, you would have thought of a decent cutout of the ground, I mean, letting the grass all go around it. I mean, yeah, you can see, if I can bend down that far, all the way down through the hole, but I don't get it myself. But uh, it's got little pieces of writing written, the tape, topian, explore and contra capital, beyond Owen, on Colonel Labour, cooperation, we vision futures, Howard Boycott 2022, text by Sam, I don't know what all that's about. And funded by the Welsh Government Powers, Newtown Langlachine Towers, supported by Arts Council of Wales and Oriel Davis. I mean, to me, it's, uh, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't know what, uh, what does it symbolise? I mean, I mean, it looks a bit like a waves at sea, but toilet roll, I mean. But I just thought I'd give you a bit of a show. So anybody in Newtown that's not seen it, because it's stuck on a field, and we've got plenty of places where it could be put, but it's a lot of money just to be stuck in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, yeah, twice now I've seen you on two videos. <laughs> anyway, so just thought I'd give you a... A little insight to that so I'll I'll uh, I'll leave you with that vision a sculpture that costs 50,000 pound total I think up to 50 by 30 was the main and uh, tell me what you think was it worth it you know so I'll be doing a little bit more footage I'll show you some other places where it could have gone which would have made more sense but anyway Give me your thoughts. I'd love to know how you feel that our council tax and Welsh government money are paid for you to, oh me, let's have a stand on it. I mean, it looks like kids have already been on it or something. There's scratch marks all over it. I mean, my God. I mean, look already. I mean, not being funny, but I didn't see that before. But look at it. Somebody's already been, I bet the scale, well, we've got a skateboard park just down the road. Just around the corner, to be honest. Might do a little bit of footage around there, I'll pause it and we'll come back. I mean, at least that was, but I mean, I bet kids will be jumping on their, jumping on their uh, skateboards, mountain bikes, BMXs all over it. You tell me. Anyway, I might just cut this and add a little bit and show you a little bit further down where the skateboards are. We'll see what happens. Anyway, let me know what you think. Was it worth it or was it not? Bye bye for now.
Thank you.